Hello everybody and welcome to the Wordsmith YouTube channel. My name is Carl and I'm thrilled to have you here. As a vocalist, poet and movie reviewer, I'm always eager to share my insights on the art of performance. And today we're going to be doing a reaction and vocal analysis by very popular request to Voila by Emma Koch and Andre Riel. This piece has certainly captured a lot of attention and I can't wait to dive into it with you. Now, before we get started, I'd appreciate it if you could take a moment to just like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends if you'd be so kind. Your support really does mean the world to me. I'm hoping to get to 10,000 rather soon. And if you're looking to further assist the channel, and I please hope that you do, I have set up a buy me a coffee goal where you can directly contribute to improving the quality of our content here. If you're interested, you'll find the link in the description below. We've made a lot of headway with our goal thus far, so hoping you can contribute to that as well. You can also support me through Patreon or by becoming a YouTube channel member. Oh, and just a quick reminder that I will be pausing occasionally to comment on vocal technique and anything I capture musically. So let's dive straight into it, shall we? Okay, so I just watched the beginning already and that was so inspiring and so impressive to hear her story. And okay, let's get into the actual song and I'll talk about the stuff I heard. Écoutez-moi Moi la chanteuse a demi parler de moi à vous amour That's a very pretty voice vous amis parler le de cette fille au ciel noir et de son rêve Oh sorry that ooh, that that woo I mean look that was only about 20 25 seconds ish into the actual performance and what I've seen thus far has been engaging and hearing her story from Andre Rio before so uplifting I mean okay before I proceed let me give you a little background on what I've learned about Emma Koch She's a Dutch vocalist who in 2021 won the 10th season of The Voice, the kids edition, I believe. And more lately, last year, her singing of Voila here with André Rieu and the Johann Strauss Orchestra went viral. And I think so far it's got 68 million views, this same video that I'm watching. So that's impressive. So not only is she endowed with a remarkably beautiful voice, but through her singing and the technique that she's utilizing at the moment, it's it's so emotive. And, you know, let, let's just keep going. Okay, just want to back it up a little bit. Such a delicate tone. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so stunning. It's, her voice floats. Sorry for pausing, but I feel like this is going to be a long video. Um, her vocal is just so stunning. It, it's floaty and she's got great control of the mechanisms. And some other stuff that Andre mentioned earlier is that she faces the challenge of living with gastroparesis. It's a condition characterized by delayed gastric emptying, which means the stomach takes longer than normal to empty its contents into the small intestine. So as a result, individuals like Emma experience terrible uh, living conditions like nausea, vomiting, and difficulties in digesting food, which would lead her to rely on a feeding tube to ensure she receives the necessary nutrition, which is something that uh, Andre Rio mentioned earlier. And yet, despite these significant hurdles in her life, and they are significant, Emma's journey to realize her dream of becoming a singer, which she has obviously achieved, that's just that's resilience on another level. And it demonstrates the physical challenges do not have to hinder anyone's aspirations. And, you know, by 
harnessing your passion for music or whatever passion you have, you can exemplify how inner strength and dedication can actually triumph over adversity. So her success serves as a beacon of hope for others and people listening to this video, watching her performance. It reminds us that the perseverance and love for one's craft, with that you can achieve greatness against all odds. So Emma's story here just encourages us to redefine what is possible and to celebrate the power of the human spirit, which is awesome in and of itself. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a long video, but I'm so inspired by her. But let's just Oui, mais voilà tout le bruit et tout le silence. Her diction is outstanding. Oh, dis-moi ce qui le reste. Regardez-moi. Great change. Nice for brother. Trenne vous diront pas. Ooh, more vocal for contact. Tout ce que j'ai, je le dépose là. Oh. There's something about her voice. It's just to call it pleasant would be an understatement. It's just it hits the ears right. It's soft, it's gentle, it's nice, but there's also a thickening of the vocal folds as well, which adds texture to her vocal. And it just, there's so many great things that she's doing dynamically with her instrument that makes this performance so good. From the beginning, I actually forgot to mention a lot of what was going on vocally. So I would say, since this performance started, Emma Koch evokes an astounding depth of emotion that is simply unbelievable. I mean, I could hear her heart through her singing. And her ability to connect with the song is so palpable. It, it just... I mean, I've been drawn into songs, but she really pulled me in. And that's just mastery on a different level and she's only 15 here another thing that we notice here is her straight tone that she employed there is particularly beautiful and it shows purity there's clarity in her voice which establishes a very solid foundation for an emotional delivery and then she complements that with a very delicate vibrato which adds a fragile nuance to her sound enhancing the overall expressiveness of this piece thus far and another thing it's very, very striking to see how she balances the strength and vulnerability in this one performance. She's just allowing her voice to convey a very wide range of emotions, but super intense and very, very heartfelt. And it's just gorgeous beyond belief. Okay, keep it going. Voila. 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 I get the hype. It makes sense. She just has a beautiful, beautiful voice. And I like what she did with her phonation there. I don't know if she's trained in French singing. Her diction and her phonation is outstanding. And there's a unique charm to her voice. And there's a delicate quality that allows her to navigate between the notes with such effortless floaty grace. And is creating a captivating listening experience for me. I'm, I'm loving this. And like I mentioned earlier, each note seems to float effortlessly with her and it showcases a very, very clear, uh, immense talent. It's 
a warm and an inviting sound. And another thing I love, her tonality. It's so clean and it's very well controlled. And that clarity in her voice not only highlights her impressive breath support, but also demonstrates her ability to maintain precision throughout this performance. And with her type of condition, I think that would be more difficult, but she makes it sound more easy. She manages to sustain beautiful resonant notes without sacrificing the emotional depth of her delivery. Her careful attention to those tonal nuances that she threw in there, it just elevates the performance. And she's obviously vocally way more mature than her age gives off. Okay. Notice that vibrato? Laryngeal. Oh. It's like talking. Great phonation. So what's interesting is how she's, well, with great control, she's thickening the vocal folds and then thinning them out. And she's doing that very, very quickly. And the transition for that change is absolutely seamless, which is a sign of a very, very good vocalist. So like I was just saying, you can hear when she alters the thickness of her vocal cords or vocal folds, which allows her to achieve different qualities of sound. Now, to break that down a little bit more, thicker vocal cords generally produce a richer, fuller tone, while thinner vocal cords offer a lighter, airier sound. And that flexibility in her technique enables her to convey the emotion that she wants you to feel. And another thing with this performance, it's just a wave after wave of emotion with her singing as she just effortlessly floats between dynamics and tonal colors, drawing the listener, the audience clearly into the expressiveness of her journey. It's just a moving performance. Oh, opening up a little bit more. Great manipulation of the mouth. Oh, wow. Annunciation is fantastic. Notice what she's doing with her body. Extended from her mix. More head dominant mix. Oh, is that what it vocal is? It is. So she's singing without so she's singing without words essentially. And this is the sort of expressing emotion without words but through the voice. Whether it's ooh, ah, e or even D. It just brings something so special. Like if you don't know the song and they're just doing that part, the entire audience can sing along. But I think at this point, majority of the audience is just sitting there listening to an absolute wonder and pretty much they're listening to a singing miracle. A 15-year-old with an extreme chronic medical condition, just breaking boundaries and barriers and inspiring the world with her phenomenal talent. This is, this is, it's really something else. I gotta say, it's fantastic. And I'm so inspired. And I hope you Teary eyed, she's crying. Composing, of course. Nice vibrato. Squeegee 
Davis. So much emotion. Nice deeper resonance as well. Back to the vocal beat. Tempo's going up. Again, nice. Look at that. Outstanding. Unbelievable. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we shall remember the name. Yeah, to summarize that entire thing. Um, utterly and completely inspirational. There's not really much more I can add to that. Vocally, everything that she did was stunning and yeah I, I just want to thank you guys for joining me for this reaction um it was so it was ah it was so moving and so inspiring voila emma Koch, andre ryu uh the johann strauss orchestra i hope you enjoyed exploring the magic of music with me as much as i loved just diving into it with you um if you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. I would love to listen to more of her stuff and more of her story. Um, so let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please do subscribe, give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. It's such an inspiring story. Your support makes all the difference for this channel and helps me continue to build this amazing community and hopefully create a better quality video for you. And speaking of which, if you're feeling extra generous, please consider becoming a patron or a channel member or using the super thanks feature here on YouTube. Every contribution helps fuel my passion and elevate the quality of our content. Oh, uh, don't forget about the buy me a coffee goal. Your support directly impacts what we create here for you. Until next time, be kind, be gentle, be respectful to one another and help each other out when you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Cheers.